Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business here and let's wake up the football gods here. Wake up, guys. Wake up. Now, I'm going to let you guys decide this because after we had such a terrible season, the football gods decided. They were turning the back on the Dallas Cowboys because this group of Dallas Cowboys was a disappointment. Now, Michael says I should go ahead and turn them around. You guys, leave in the comments, should we turn the football gods around yet, or, or should we just wait? Should we just wait? Second thing that Michael Anthony Fitness, I, I got to tell you, man, he, he is on point. He is on point, and he, you see the guns on him? And you saw the star, right? You, you see, he's Dallas Cowboy for life. But he's got the guns, man. I, you know, I'm getting scared. You know, one of these days he's going to be like, I'm sick of this shit. And he's going to be like, oh, it's going to hurt old dad. The second thing he brought up, he's like, are there any other pictures of Mike McCarthy where he's not wearing Green Bay gear? And, and I got to tell you, I, I, I'm hoping that tomorrow when they have the press conference for him that he is wearing cowboy stuff. Because I, I, I didn't think about it, but yeah, I'm sick of seeing I'm sick of this shit seeing him in the Green Bay Packers gear. But I'm going to tell you, I love this. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's just a retread. Oh, he's a bum and all. But hold up. Just, just stop. I want you to think about this. In the NFC East, where the New York Giants actually wanted Mike McCarthy, they also wanted Matt, Matt Rule. I think they panicked. And they reached for the wide receiver special teams coach from New England. Here's this. Going into the season, I want you to listen to this statistic. The Eagles coach, Doug Peterson, 38 and 26. Ron Rivera, 76 and 63 and 1. Joe Judge, 0 and 0. And Mike McCarthy, 125 wins, 77 losses, and two ties. That's not bad. Now, we already know that Mike McCarthy is going to be the head coach, that uh, Mike Nolan will be our defensive co coordinator. And I'm going to tell you, oh, my God, somebody sent me a link to something that literally made me just, just smile, just bleem all over the place. Mike Nolan likes big guys. He likes big, fat guys that clog up the middle. Not, not, not small, lean guys. He wants trash can. No, no, no. Dumpsters full of gravel in the middle. It made me want to cry. It made me want to cry. And it seems like they are trying to. Here's why you need to be happy if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan. The Dallas Cowboys have changed. They've done a 180 from the way they've been doing business. This happened with our scouting department where it used to be Jerry Jones making the calls. And from the time that he wanted to get Johnny Manziel and Stephen Jones said, I'm sick of this shit. Give me that card. He didn't exactly say, oh, I don't know what he said actually, but basically he took the card away and he drafted Zach Martin. And the rest is history. We are, I think, having that sea change right now because the way the Cowboys have always hired guys is they're related to the Dallas Cowboys family. Jason Garrett didn't have any experience, but he was part of the family. You know, he was a quarterback for the Cowboys. His dad coached for the Cowboys and things. So they figured, well, you know, all we got to do is tie somebody from greatness and bring them back. You can look at almost all the hires with the exception of Bill Parcells that one way or the other were related to the Cowboys. You can look at most of the coaching hiring, the under ones, you know, were people that were in the organization. Rod Marnelli was a defensive line coach, becomes the defensive coordinator. You know, you end up bringing back players that played for John Kitten, a quarterback coach, played for us. You know, Kellen Moore, quarterback for us, played for us, and so on. And so whenever... Somebody moved out, they moved somebody else up. That shit is gone. Mike McCarthy had no ties to the Dallas Cowboys. 
Mike McCarthy definitely stuck it to the Cowboys. In fact, Mike McCarthy has won more playoff games in Dallas than Jason Garrett did. You count the Super Bowl. Mike Nolan, you could kind of say his dad played for Tom Landry and he coached for Tom Landry and Jimmy Johnson. You could kind of say that that was somebody that has some familiarity with the organization. Great fit because he's got family in Dallas. His 92-year-old uh, grandmother is in Dallas and three of his siblings and things. And now they're looking at probably bring back Helmore. He's bowling that over. Um, I'm assuming that um, John Kitna will come with it, but I don't know. I haven't heard that. Uh, we heard that they want Chris Richard back, but we're also looking at grabbing other guys. Um, Fossil, um, John Fossil, not Jim Fossil, John Fossil, um, the special teams coach from the Rams. <laughs> Thank God somebody's thinking about special teams. Our special teams were the worst in the NFL. Every single phase, we couldn't get the ball in good field position. We couldn't stop the other teams from getting good field position. We couldn't fit, kick field goals until we got Kyle far bath, uh, for bath. So we're taking a bath at least now. We were taking a bath on field goal kicking before him, but not in a good way. But you see the Cowboys now, they are moving at lightning speed. Before everybody, you know, you heard Troy Aikman talking about how bad it was, what they did with Jason Garrett and everything else. It shows how dysfunctional it is. And now he's saying, you know, Mike McCarthy was a pretty good hire. I, I don't know. I, I agree with him that it was crazy the way we went through with all the Jason Garrett stuff. They should have just said, Jason, bye-bye. You know, we're not firing you. Just don't worry about coming back to work. You'll get paid through your contract. You know, you're good. That was crazy. But you have to like the experience that you're bringing in here, that you have many different sets of eyes from many different locations. Because, see, here's the thing. That guy, that guy knows everything about Aaron freaking Rodgers. You know that bad man that has been like our kryptonite? He knows everything about him. He knows his strengths. He knows his weaknesses. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. You get John Fossil from the Rams. Guess what? He knows a lot about the Rams and that's organization. Mike Nolan knows a lot about the Baltimore Ravens defense because he was part of that. Knows a lot about the San Francisco 49ers because he was part of that not that long ago. So you're getting all these different sets of eyes that have been around the NFL as opposed to everybody who points back to the Dallas Cowboys of the 90s. I'm going to tell you, this is a sea change for Jerry Jones. This is huge growth. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the season to get here. This, to me, is huge. I know a lot of people are out there saying, oh, he's just a retread, this, that, and the other. We should have gone for one of the college coaches and things like that. But here's the thing, man. you got to understand, you're thinking about a Sean McVay, or you're thinking about a um, Kyle Shanahan. These young guys that are now great coaches... But see, what you're not taking into consideration and understanding is they may be young in years, but their experiences in football are not. Kyle Shanahan grew up in locker rooms because his dad was a coach. He did his time and his dues, and Lord knows, in Washington, that's doing time and, 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 and putting in dues. He coached as the offensive coordinator with Atlanta before he became a head coach. He had multitude of years of experience being part of and being around the NFL. Same thing with Sean McVay. He entered for Tampa Bay. He worked his way up there. So, yes, he may only be in his 30s, but he's been in football for probably 20 years. So now when you talk about a guy, Matt Rule, he's, got, hey, he's a coach. Hey, Got that experience in college. But on his resume, it's zero in the NFL. And it's a different game. I'll take 
this set of eyes right here, right here, Jerry Jones's new love. I'll take the Mike Nolan, who's got experience from Baltimore, San Francisco, New Orleans. I'll take the John Foster, who's got experience there with um, the Rams and the 49ers. I'll take these guys that have been around and have done things in the NFL over an unknown quantity that's coming from college. My final thoughts here tonight is thoughts and prayers for everybody in the military. I don't want to be in another war. I'm hoping that calmer, cooler heads will prevail and that we are not headed for something tragic again. But I salute every one of you, retired, current, and future military person persons for all that you've done keeping us safe and allowing me to be able to sit here behind this desk thank you i'm mark holmes and well that's all i got to say about that you be safe out there oh thoughts and prayers for puerto rico too after the devastating earthquakes last night or early this morning <sighs> so much bad going on in the world australia burning up it's got to get better i'll see you soon